Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube creative studio. You know me, I love crocheting for my kids. And for today I prepared a video guide how to crochet this sleeveless sweater for my son Peter for his seventh birthday. The important information to this project uh, are available in the box below the video and also the written pattern is at my website. The sweater consists of two the same panels. I will also show you how to do the border at the bottom and the ending for armholes and how to crochet this wonderful neck band. I already prepared a part of the first panel and I will show you first of all how to crochet this wonderful pattern. For the first row choose the color you want to have also at the bottom and also at the neck band. I started with a foundation chain. I'm chain 60 chains and then in the first row I made um, double crochets into each stitch, into each chain. So in the first row I made 60 double crochets. And from the second row we will start our pattern. We don't finish uh, the last double crochet and change the color. In this my pattern I will change the color every two rows. Then chain three and turn your work. We will start with a front post double crochet. So insert your hook front back and back front. And make a double crochet as you know. So yarn over, pull through two yarn over and pull through two. Then into the next one place one double crochet. So yarn over, pull through two and pull through two. Yarn over and again I will do a front post double crochet. And into next one double crochet. And you will keep um, this process till the end of the first row of this uh, pattern. So one front post double crochet and one double crochet. One front post double crochet and one double crochet. Just keep the same number of stitches. So I started with 60 chain so in this row I have 60 stitches 60 double crochets and then I have to alternate a front post double crochet and a double crochet I'm in the end and around the last one I will do a front post I started with a double crochet and I'm now ended with a front post double crochet. So you see, so this is the first row of my pattern. Chain one and then into each stitch work a single crochet. I count a chain one at the beginning as a first stitch, first single crochet. So into each stitch a single crochet across. So in that row you will have 60 single crochets. Wonderful. I'm at the end. So my last stitch I will not finish it. And I will use the white color from the next row. So I will finish this last single crochet with a white color and I will chain three, which will be my first stitch. My turn your work. Let's look at my work. There is a front post two rows below that single crochet. I will make a double crochet into that single crochet where is the front post two rows below and the next stitch will be a front post which is placed 
around the double crochet two rows below so not around next single crochet but around next double crochet two rows below the next stitch will be a double crochet place into the next single crochet and you can see there is a front post two rows below stitch is going to be again a front post place around the double crochet two rows below and we can continue with this pattern so a double crochet into next stitch a single crochet and again a front post around the next double crochet but two rows below and a double crochet into next stitch which is single crochet and the next one is a front post around a double crochet two rows below a double crochet into next and into next a front post but around the double crochet two rows below the single crochet and you will continue with this pattern till the end of your row just make sure you have the same number of stitches so I will have 60 stitches um, at my work I finish it with a double crochet place into the last single crochet from the previous row chain one and turn your work and now I will make a single crochet into each stitch across I count a chain one as a first stitch so in this row I will have 60 single crochets so into each stitch into each double crochet and into each front post double crochet so one single crochet into each stitch till the end of your row and this is it you already know how to crochet this wonderful pattern I will change the color every second row I will change a dark blue now to light blue and white so this is it this is the the wrong side and this is the right side I absolutely love that pattern it's amazing it's create wonderful texture and 3d effect and it consists only of double crochet and a front post double crochet and uh, I alternate them so every second stitch is a front post double crochet and then every second is a double crochet and between the row with a double crochet there is a row of a single crochet so look at my sweater once again and if you like that pattern we can continue crocheting it together I already prepared the first part of my first panel and we will crochet the rest together uh, the first part I made consists of this basic pattern I keep in each row 60 stitches I change the color every second row and I have three colors and I already made 41 rows I just repeat the row 4 and 5 part I already made is 11.81 inches high and 14.17 inches wide and from the row 42 I will make decreasing on both sides the decreasing is made that I will join three stitches together so I will join chain two which works as unfinished double crochet a double crochet and uh, a front post double crochet so I will join these stitches together so I will pull yarn through all loops now I have on my loop okay so three stitches together now yarn over and I will continue with my pattern which is a double crochet in next single crochet and a front post double crochet around a double crochet two rows below now a double crochet into next single crochet and a front post around the next double crochet two rows below 
and this is it one double crochet and one front post double crochet so I will continue crocheting till this end and I will meet you here okay once you have three stitches left join them together so look at my pattern I have four stitches left till the end so I will do a front post double crochet as a standard stitch and uh, the next stitch is a double crochet I will not finish it okay then there is a front post again I will not finish it so I have three loops on my hook and the last one is going to be a double crochet again I will not finish it I have four loops on my hook and I will pull yarn through all of them and chain one and turn the work okay so I have three stitches joined together so at the end and at the beginning there is decreasing of three stitches place a single crochet into next stitch and continue crocheting the previous row has 60 stitches and in this row I made decreasing of two at the beginning and two at the end so I am, I am minus four stitches so I have 56 stitches and uh, it means that I have 56 single crochet now I will change my color and I will continue with a white yarn and again I will work together three stitches so I will chain two as my first unfinished double crochet I'll turn my work and I will continue with my pattern so there gonna be a double crochet a next single crochet and then a front post so I will place a double crochet in next stitch I will not finish it and there gonna be a front post and again I will not finish it and I have three loops on the hook and I will pull yarn through all of them okay this is it again I'm minus two stitches in that row and I will do the same decreasing at the end I will join three stitches together now I will continue with my pattern so one front post double crochet and one double crochet a double crochet is placed into the single crochet and a front post is placed into the double crochet which is two rows below the single crochet okay you can continue with your pattern and I will meet you there and again we will do decreasing here the decreasing is made on both sides you see so I again join three stitches together and again you can continue with a row of single crochet into each stitch and let's do the last row of decreasing again I change my color I chain two as my first unfinished double crochet just make sure the yarn is not too tight Turn your work and uh, join this uh, chain with a double crochet and a front post double crochet and finished. So into each stitch I will work a double crochet, I will not finish it and into the next one a front post which I will not finish it and then three loops on the hook and I pull yarn through all of them and you can continue crocheting 
the pattern you already know. So a double crochet into the single crochet and around next double crochet which is two rows below place a front post double crochet. Okay so this is it. I made a decreasing on three rows. Okay and this is my last row decreasing. I will also do decreasing at the end. So here I am. There are four stitches left. So I will make a front post and then I will join three stitches together. So this is a double crochet unfinished, a front post unfinished and a double crochet unfinished. Just make sure it's placed in the last stitch. Okay. And now pull the yarn through all four loops on the hook and chain one as a single crochet and turn your work and into next stitch place a single crochet. So into each stitch across place a single crochet and as we might decreasing uh, at the beginning and at the end and I might decreasing three times in this row now I will have 48 stitches okay so 48 single crochet in that row and you can continue crocheting with the pattern you already know and I made 18 more rows so now I have 65 rows already made just make sure that from the row 48 when we finish the decreasing you have 48 stitches in each row and let me finish the last row of this first panel this is the row of single crochet placed uh, uh, in each stitch across. So a single crochet in each stitch. So as I mentioned in this row you will have 48 stitches. And our first panel is going to be done. The pattern is absolutely the same for the second panel and uh, it has the same size and the same measurement. Okay, this is it. So just let me repeat it. I started with 60 chains and I changed the color every second row. I made a decreasing on both sides and I made decreasing three times. So the top part has only 48 stitches in each row and I made 65 uh, row. So I repeat that pattern for the second panel. This is it. And what we are going to do now, we have to join two panels together. We have to also create a bottom uh, part, a bottom border. We have to do the border for armholes and also a neck band. When you will join the panels together, just make sure that the rows are in one line, so the colors are aligned. It's uh, really important to have it perfectly uh, so. I will also sew uh, the top part and we will uh, keep a hole for the head. We have to uh, keep it uh, big enough. 
When you will join the panels, just make sure that the right side of the first panel is facing up and the right side of the second panel is facing down. Okay, so I will start with joining the panels at the top. So don't cut the yarn of your second panel, you just finished and continue crocheting with that yarn. I will join the shoulders by slip stitching. So insert the hook into the stitch uh, to stitch so into the, now the second stitch and the second stitch of the first and the second panel. Okay, so make sure the stitches are aligned and pull yarn through both stitches. Again, insert the hook into the sec uh, third stitch, sorry, of the first and the second panel and pull yarn through both of them. And continue with that system of slip stitching. And in total, I will make eight slip stitches. So I will join eight stitches together. Okay, this is how it looks like. Okay, pull yarn through both stitches. And one more. Okay, this is it. So we made eight stitches, stitch to stitch, and don't cut the yarn and keep continue crocheting, slip stitch into each stitch, but only into the um, first panel. So I will move by slip stitching to the other side, and once you have eight stitches left. Okay, this is it. I will join the left shoulder. Okay, again, insert the hook into the eighth stitch from the end and pull yarn through both stitches. Okay, and make it for next seven stitches once again. So in total you will have eight slip stitches on both shoulders on the left and right shoulder. Okay, super perfect. I'm going to finish the joining of this shoulder and this is it. Wonderful. So I just joined uh, the top part and the hole is enough for uh, the, the head. Perfect. Now I will join the left and right side as well. Uh, of course you can do slip stitching, slips to stitch, but I decided to uh, sew um, that parts. So it's up to you. Um, I will uh, finish the sewing just uh, as I mentioned, make sure that uh, the rows are aligned so uh, the colors are continuing from the left to right side and uh, make sure that the right sides are inside of your work when you do sewing. 
and uh, pull the needle through a stitch of the left and right panel uh, on the same row. So always pull yarn through the stitches which are aligned. It's not my favorite part of crocheting, <laughs> but I have to do it. Okay, so let's continue sewing, stitch to stitch. I started at the bottom and I will finish at uh, the part when we started our decreasing. Okay, I will continue sewing the second uh, sides of my sweater and I will finish at the row where the decreasing started. So this is it and you see we are here and here and I will make a border for armholes. I will use the yarn I started with. So this is a dark blue or navy blue color. And first of all I will make a slip knot. Um, at this part you can choose any stitch you will start with. So make a slip knot and then single crochets all around. I approximately put uh, three single crochets into one color part. So there is a double crochet at the beginning and a, a single crochet. So approximately I have three single crochets and now two rows, okay? And I will meet you at the end. So this is the row of single crochet. Join this uh, row by slip stitch. And now we will work in round chain three as a first double crochet. And then I will continue uh, the pattern consists of two front posts, double crochet, this is the front post, and around next single crochet, one more front post. This is it, and around next two stitches, I will work a back post double crochet. This is my first back post and the second one. Okay, just make sure that stitch is placed around a single crochet we just made in the previous row. So two front post and two back post double crochet stitches. Okay, and you can continue crocheting. It will make a wonderful texture uh, on that armhole border. So keep continue crocheting into each stitch and alternate two front post double crochet and two back post double crochet. Okay, super. So this is what we need. So you can continue crocheting and once you reach uh, the end of uh, this second row of armhole border, uh, place a slip stitch 
into the third chain uh, we made at the beginning and you can very easily repeat that pattern for this um, next row, the third row uh, which uh, actually is uh, the second row of double crochets okay and I started with chain 3 and uh, put into each a front post, a front post and into each back post, a back post, double crochet so it's a really easy pattern you see there are two back posts and two front post stitches and uh, the pattern will give you a guide where to put front post and where to put uh, back post so I just finish a back post double crochet and into next two I will work a front post one and two and you can very easily repeat uh, that pattern on the second side it's absolutely the same pattern you will do a row of single crochets and then in the next two rows you will um, repeat the pattern of two front post double crochet and two back post double crochet and I will also use that pattern for the bottom ending so make a slip knot and chain three you can start uh, on the stitch you want to start and uh, into the next one work a front post double crochet and into the next one again one more front post double crochet and again as you know we will repeat the pattern of two front posts and two back posts so around the next a back post double crochet and around the next the second back post double crochet and as you know we started with a row of double crochet so now it's very easy we will use that row of double crochet for placing front post or back post uh, stitches so you can continue crocheting two back post one and two and again a two front post so one and two perfect this pattern is used for arm hole uh, ending for the bottom ending and I will also use it for the neck band so you can continue crocheting and let me remind you that we will finish the row by slip stitch which is placed into the uh, third chain from the beginning okay so here I am I will make my last stitch and I will place a slip stitch into the third chain I made at the beginning now chain 3 as our first double crochet and let's continue crocheting with our pattern so two front post double crochet one and two and into next a back post And one more back post super and two front post and I will make again two rows of that pattern the same as I made for the arm holes ending The pattern from the 
first row of our bottom boarding will give you a guide where to place a front pose and where to place a back pose double crochet. So I just finished two front pose and continue crocheting till the end of this row. I will finish the row with a slip stitch which is placed into the third chain from the beginning and that's it. So I have my the bottom ending already done. You see how it looks like. And this is the wrong side. You can clearly see two front posts and two back posts on both sides. On the right side and on the uh, wrong side. Okay, so I made two rows. And this is the part where I started and finished each row. I started each row with chain 3 and finish uh, with a back post. And it perfectly looks like two back posts, double crochet. And this is it. Let me repeat it. There is the border I made for armhole. I used the navy yarn and I alternate the two front post and two back post stitches and I made this pattern also for the bottom and I will use it for the neck band as well. There is a hole already prepared so let's get started with the neck band. The important is to start on side where you have slip stitches you already made when you join the shoulders and we will start from 10th stitch from left shoulder seam so please count 10 stitches and into that 10th stitch insert the hook and pull yarn through and chain one And then into the next stitch work a single crochet and into the next two stitches work a half double crochet. So one and into next one more. So the second half double crochet and then into next each stitch place a double crochet okay this is my first double crochet and I will continue crocheting around so a double crochet in next stitch again a double crochet And keep continue crocheting a double crochet in each stitch across till you reach um, the beginning of this uh, row. So let's look at the work we just made. You see we made a slight increasing. So I started with a single crochet to half double crochet and I will continue with double crochet okay and once you have it done I'll meet you at the beginning so, um, so this is a part where I started you see this is my first stitch my first chain and I will continue crocheting uh, behind that part, behind that first row. So this part I will do will be hidden behind uh, the first row I made. You know we skipped 10 stitches when I started. Actually I started 
uh, from 10th stitch from the left shoulder and I will do the same on the other side it means where I have 10 stitches left to the right shoulder seam so I will place a marker into this 10th stitch from the right shoulder seam to know that this is the end of the first row okay so I will continue crocheting behind and I will finish the double stitches when I have four stitches left to the marker okay so this is my last point for double crochet stitch okay. so I will continue crocheting so you see this is uh, the chain I started and I already prepared the row for crocheting behind the stitches I made as we made slip stitches when I uh, joined the shoulders so you remember I move from left to right shoulder by slip stitching so I will use these slip stitches to put double crochets into them okay so place a double crochet into each stitch into each slip stitch okay I will continue crocheting each stitch to each slip stitch so one double crochet in one slip stitch and I will finish my last double crochet when I have four stitches left to the marker okay one two three four so one more and this is my last double crochet okay super and now I have three stitches left so one half double crochet in the third before the stitch one half double crochet in the second one and a single crochet in the last stitch in front of the maker okay this is it I will um, pull the marker out and make one more single crochet in that stitch where the marker was placed let's look at my work once again as you can see the beginning the first part overlaps uh, the last part the end of this row so there are several stitches behind they are hidden under the beginning of my row okay turn your work and we will continue crocheting we will from that part crochet in uh, rows so this is the beginning of my second row I will do one single crochet into next two stitches so skip the first stitch and into next two ones place one single crochet then into next two place a half double crochet so I will have one single crochet one single crochet one half double crochet and one half double crochet so a slope at the beginning of this row is finished and I will continue with my pattern so two front post double crochet and two back post double crochet so I use the same pattern I already used for the armhole borders and the bottom uh, border so I alternate to front post double crochet and two back post double crochet okay so one front post the second front post 
the first back post. And the second back post. Perfect. You already know this pattern we used for borders. So keep continue crocheting uh, this pattern you already know till you have uh, four stitches left. And I will meet you there and we will again make a um, slope at the end uh, the same as uh, we made at the beginning. So the beginning and the end of this row and each row I will make uh, there will be a slope. Okay, so the level or the height of uh, the row is not the same and it's going slightly down like that and at the beginning it's going slightly up and this is what I want to have. Okay, I have now five stitches left. I will place a one half double crochet into the fifth from the end into next one I will place a half double crochet. Now I have three stitches left so I will make a single crochet and uh, there are two stitches left so I will make a single crochet into next one and I will not crochet in the last one. I will not make any stitch there. I will just tear my work, chain one and I will repeat row two. So I will make one single crochet into next two stitches and a half double crochet into next two stitches. And then I will continue with my pattern to front post double crochet and to back post double crochet. So you see there is a, a slope, a slope I made at the beginning. So the level or the high of the neck band is going uh, very slowly up so now I will continue with two front post double crochet and two back post double crochet Okay, and now I will make two back posts. Always look at the stitch you made in the previous row and it will give you a guide. So now you can see two front posts, so place a, a front post double crochet into them. Now two back post. This is it and I will continue with two front post. Okay. So we can clearly see the 3D effect. Uh, so I will also again continue till I have five stitches left and I will make a slope the same as I already made in the uh, first, second and the third row. And you can continue crocheting till you have the desired length of uh, your neck band. You can continue crocheting or you can uh, finish your work um, at this moment. Just make sure you finish uh, your last row 
at the same um, system as we uh, used for all rows of a neck band before. Okay, so I will continue crocheting. I just check my pattern. There are um, back post double crochets. So I will work a back post double crochet into them. And then two front post. I have five stitches left, so I will make one half double crochet in the next two stitches, one single crochet in the next two. Oh, there is a knot, so I will make sure it's on the wrong side. Okay, no problem. Uh, one single crochet, which is my last one. I will not crochet into the last stitch. I'll turn my work, skip one, chain one, and place a single crochet in the next two stitches and uh, a half double crochet in next two stitches one and two super and i can continue crocheting my pattern so you see there are two front posts so i will place front post super so one front post, double crochet, the second, front post, double crochet, and back post, and the second back post, double crochet. Super. Look at my work once again. You see there is a slope going up. And uh, at the end, the slope going down. And uh, you can repeat this pattern till you have eight rows, or you have the desired length of your neck band. So I will finish it once I have eight rows, okay? So I have it ready, I finish it, tada! and uh, my last aim is to do the ending. I will make slip stitches around the armholes, around the neck band, and uh, I'll show you quickly how I'll do it. So into each stitch I will place a slip stitch just to make a nice ending and just to uh, fix uh, the end of uh, armholes and the neck band. So into each stitch I put a slip stitch. Really easy and of course it's no need to do it. I just decided to uh, have it nicer or make it nicer so it's uh, fully up to you if you will do slip stitching around as a, a last row okay I will finish the row with slip stitching this is it and you can cut the yarn and fasten off Okay, look at it, it's, it's um, perfect. And we are done with our crocheting, my crochet friends. Let me briefly and quickly recap our pattern. So I used that uh, navy uh, blue for armholes and also for the neckband and also for the bottom end. Let's look at the neckband. I made eight rows. And um, you see uh, there is a nice 
slope at the beginning and at the end of the band. I use the pattern where I combine two or alternate two back post double crochets and two front post double crochet. I make a slip stitches around when I finish this uh, neck band. For armholes, I used two rows of that navy uh, dark blue and I also used the pattern where I alternate two front post and two back post double crochet. And again there is a bottom. I used a navy dark blue. I add two more rows to the end and again the same pattern of two back post double crochet and two front post double crochet. And there are two panels where I uh, used three colors. I changed the color every second row and approximately from the second third of my panel I made decreasing on both sides on both panels and just let me add we have to wave in all ends and that's it let me do the final measurement I will measure the top part with this one then the neck band height the west height the mid part width the part from the bottom to armhole height the bottom border height the armhole border height it's the same one and the neck band height let's look at the seam this is it we are at the end of my video i think you already know how to crochet this wonderful sleeveless sweater and look at my son he's really really happy to wear it i love the pattern i also like the colors and it fits perfectly anyway if you will have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me i would like to thank you very very much for watching if you like my video please give me your like and don't hesitate to subscribe my channel bye for now